When you're a military family and you have children with disabilities or you're in the EFMP program, moving to a new duty station can be daunting, but I am here to tell you that there's no reason to worry. There are plenty of military bases located in super progressive cities that provide extreme accessibility for families just like you. And today I'm bringing on a special guest, Christy Durso, to tell us why Lackland Air Force Base and Joint Base San Antonio is one of those incredible places for families catering to disabilities to live. This is the duty station, download across the nation. This is the duty station, download it, download it. This is the duty station, download it. Welcome back to the Duty Station Download, where I help you learn to love your new duty station. I'm Kimber Hill, your host and mill spouse bestie. I want to welcome our very special guest today, Christy Durso. She is a self-proclaimed adrenaline junkie who partakes in skydiving and whitewater rafting. She's been to 37 states. She owns Incredible Memories Travel. She's a professional speaker, a full-time wheelchair user, and she is a mom of three kids, all with disabilities. Welcome so much, Christy. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you. I am so excited to be here and to talk about both our duty station and to share a little bit about my family and the passion for what I do with helping those with disabilities. Uh, well, Lackland is an amazing place to be for families with disabilities. When you arrive in Lackland, you're going to see signs all over the place. It is Inclusion City, USA. Wow. And they're not wrong. We have one of the most inclusive cities ever been to. We have some such great support network, networks here in San Antonio that it really makes it easy to get involved as a person with a disability, as a mom with a child with a, a very significant cognitive and intellectual disability. A lot of times it's really hard to find places for yeah. uh, those kinds of disabilities. But here in San Antonio, man, we've got so many resources and there are so many nonprofits doing such good work to make sure that we're included and we're able to do so many different things. So Morgan's Wonderland is the top of that list to create an, an amusement park for families with disabilities, for families with children like his. And so that's what they've done. Um, they've got all the attractions are wheelchair accessible. They understand the sensory overload. So it's not as loud as the typical theme park and mm -hmm. everything is spaced out well enough that you're able to process each thing. The lines move fairly quickly and it really is such an inclusive spot and they have both the regular theme park and then they have a water park that's also accessible. Wow. So it's a really, really great area. SeaWorld does a pretty decent job with accessibility as well, as well as Fiesta Texas. In those two parks, you're able to connect with their customer service department and arrange to have a disability pass, which will help expedite you through the lines. Either you get a return time where you wait a certain amount of time, usually the length of the line minus 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. and you go enjoy yourself somewhere else, go find a quiet spot, whatever uh, you want to do until that return time. And then you're able to bypass the line and get right on the attraction. So that makes those attractions really easy and really doable. The River walk is accessible by elevator and most of the elevators work most of the time. <laughs> the Alamo of course is very accessible as well. And they have a model Lego Alamo that is being displayed. A family put together an entire model of wow. the Alamo, designed it themselves. And it That's is incredible detailed. It's pretty amazing. And so that is housed across the street from the Alamo and my Lego obsessed kids think it's just amazing. And then right outside of town, there is a skydiving place that um, the jump master has like over 20,000 jumps. And several years ago, he was approached by a wheelchair user who wanted to skydive. So he designed a special suit that looks kind of like a snow snowsuit with all mm -hmm. sorts of pulleys. And so the suit is designed so that he can pull up the legs of the person he's strapped to, uh, to make sure their legs aren't in the way during the landing. And he takes people who cannot walk up to skydive. It's absolutely amazing. And then- um, That's incredible. Another, yeah, it, it was 
absolutely exhilarating. One of the best experiences of my life, getting to do that. Every part of it was amazing. And they film it for you, so that's really fun too. Yeah. So, and then Project Airtime has um, a couple of hang gliders out in that area as well. And that's a company that gives free rides in their paragliding machines to go up and take a little tour with them. And that's for the entire family, not just the person with a disability. So very, very cool. Hang gliding is so fun too. I think if you're afraid to skydive, you should try hang gliding because it's yes. not as scary, but equally as exhilarating. And yes. it feels kind of like swinging versus falling. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. What do you know about, I've heard of some places, Disability SA, Kinetic Kids, Believer's Garden. Do you want to speak to those? I bet you have some experience with them. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to start with Believer's Garden. Believer's Garden is a church that is geared toward families with disabilities. Mm -hmm. They take all kinds of disabilities there and it is uh, just really an amazing ministry. So they open their doors several times a week for these families to come in, give them a place to do activities and games. And then they also have services specific specifically for them. If you have a family member who has a cognitive disability or an intellectual disability, sometimes they are very vocal. And uh, this is a church where you're not going to get any judgment for that during the service. Kinetic Kids is one that we've been involved in for the last year and Timothy just absolutely adores this. So these are kids who have either cognitive and intellectual disabilities or they have mobility disabilities and they are invited to do sports and they have everything. CrossFit, gymnastics, dance, they even have a theater class, archery, swimming, baseball, football, soccer. So there's no way that Timothy could ever join a regular baseball league. There's no way he could be on a regular soccer team. But here, they even break it up by ability. So they have some leagues that are very parent hands-on because the child has too many limitations for them to be able to engage by themselves, all the way up to two different competitive teams. One that's more beginner competitive and one that's a little bit more advanced and your child is placed with no judgment in the level where they are going to succeed the most. And so Timothy has done baseball and now he's doing swimming with them and he just absolutely loves it. He swims his little heart out for an hour every week and he'll get to do competitions later this summer. And right. you can join up until age 18. And if you were a past participant, if you started before you were 18, you're allowed to compete all the way up to, I think, 26. I was Ms. Wilter, Texas last year. Congratulations. And thank you. It was a lot of fun to get to do that. So that's how I came across Disability Essay. And I fell in love with it immediately. They have so many needed initiatives with this. They work on um, making things better for people in San Antonio and in the state as well. And then they help bring inclusivity into all of the amazing outdoor festivals that we have here in San Antonio. As uh, people with disabilities have so many other things they have to think about when they want to attend anything. You know, going to an outdoor festival isn't as simple as let's pack up in the car and go. We have to think a lot of times about where are we going to use the bathroom? And these things often limit us and make it so we're not able to go to these festivals at all. Or if we do, we can only go for a short amount of time before we have to leave and go do some of that self-care. Right. Disability SA just this year finally got enough funding to purchase a mobile changing unit. It's the size oh. of a small RV and it has a, a regular accessible toilet in it. And then it also has a full size changing table. So anybody, any size can be changed right in at the festival that's and so amazing. now they're able to stay the whole day it's really incredible the other thing that they do that's really really important is we have fiesta here in san antonio every yeah. year it just wrapped up so much fun they have a court for fiesta usually it's young adults uh, and kids like timothy and they teach them leadership skills and speaking skills and how to be in front of people it's a really, really amazing program that empowers these individuals. Even though they have a disability, they still have the ability to communicate. They still have the opportunity to get in front of people and talk about what they're passionate about. Blackland is Military City USA. We've got right. 
everybody here. So instead of it just being Lackland and Dancy and Brooks Army Medical Center, now we call the collective unit Joint Base San Antonio. Right. So it's a really neat um, area to be in because you have the opportunity to meet people from all the services and to engage with so many different parts. That's all for today's episode. Remember, there are many military bases in progressive cities around the country that are committed to creating inclusive communities where everyone can thrive. Let Let me direct our listeners to incrediblememoriestravel.com. Christy can book a vacation for you anywhere, and I encourage you to use her. She's a dream to work with. If you'd like to reach out to Christy directly, that's Christy, K-R-I-S-T-Y, at incrediblememoriestravel.com. This has been another installment of the Duty Station Download. Download it.